What is going on guys? Welcome back to another Heart Gold Soul Silver randomized Nuzlocke run with your host as always KMAC time and we are getting right back into things. I know we've taken a few days off here um, but I am so so pumped for this run. I'm so pumped for our party right now. I am just I am absolutely yoked with this excitement. Um, you know, we have the dragons, uh, we have the dragon, uh, dragon knight actually, we have Gengar, Staryu, Quagsire, and, um, I forget, the Vivian or whatever it's pronounced, but it's gonna be a Flygon eventually. So, very, very cool team right now. I'm actually gonna skip this trainer, I'll come back to him, I need to heal up, and I, we haven't got a pull from this, this patch of grass yet, so I wanna see what's in this patch of grass. Um, let's hope for something cool, um, you know, keep it going with the cool theme, and... Ooh, a beautify. That's a cool that's a cool Pokemon. I could definitely dig that. I could definitely dig that. I definitely want this one. Um typing, I'm not positive, but I believe it's normal psychic. Um again, I am terrible with all these generations. I believe it's a Gen 3 Pokemon. But uh, I don't really know the typing too well of Gen 3. But I definitely want it. I definitely want it in the party. It's always a pretty good level, level five for where we're at, it's a pretty good level. Oh, Cocksucker woke up though. Absorbs what knows a grass type move, so that could come in handy. Um, it's not gonna do any damage, so let's go ahead and lick the shit out of it one more time. Um, but yeah, pump for this. Um, it's good. It's a good draw. Oh, and it's paralyzed, so we don't even have to put it back to sleep. That's good. Um, but yeah, like I said, our party right now is looking amazing. We have good type coverage. Um, I mean, we do have a little bit of redundancy of the dragon type and a little bit of redundancy of the water type, just a tad. But um, it's something that you know, it's it's never. It's, it's not the worst thing, that's too much of a good thing. Um, you know, uh, great, great lineup right now, and, you know, going forward, we could, we could uh, find some uh, holes in there, and we could find a replacement. Ooh, God, so close, so close to catching this damn, damn thing, but I, I, we could probably give it one more lick, but I don't want to risk it. Um, I think if we throw enough balls, we should have it. Um, pump for this Pokemon, though, Beautifly. Uh, I'm not sure what we're going to name it, though. Um, uh, we're going off the theme, and I don't know if I want to stick with the theme or not right now. But we did catch it, so we caught a male Beautifly, so it's a male. Um, what do we have for characters? Uh, we have Pops, Skips, what else do we have? Um, we have Muscle Man already. How about High Five? I know we should have, and, and someone said this in the comments, that we should have named Gengar High Five for High Five Ghost. And you know what? I... I wish I was so, that smart all the time because that is a fucking great idea, but I didn't think of it. So now we have to use high five on a non-ghost type, which is our beautiful, beautiful fly here. But you know, whoever said that, said that in the in the comments, you know, props to you because that was, that was a, it made me laugh. It was a funny thing, and I, you know, I should have I should have thought of that. I should have caught it. But let's go ahead and run to to the next city, get a quick heal in. And this thing, and I have a Wormadam, Wormadam, I don't know, I'm not, I'm not, I don't like this Pokemon, to be honest with you. Uh, but, uh, let's get a quick healing at the Pokemon Center, um, then we'll start grinding up some levels. Uh, we, in this episode, we'll probably take out Sprout Tower, we'll probably take out the first Gym Leader, uh, you know, so many things like that. And we'll see what times, we'll see what our time's looking like as we get uh, a little bit farther along. But, uh, no, I don't want, I don't care about your little verse recorder bullshit. God, get out of my face, you and your little shitty Meryl. Um, but yeah, I'm pumped for this run, guys, and I hope you guys are pumped for it as well. Um, all kinds of amazing stuff coming to you guys this summer. I know I, in every video it seems like I'm, I'm telling you guys there's something coming, there's something coming this week, some coming this week, you know. And, um, you know, I started, finally started giving away a little bit more information on that, and I've been talking about this, this bro week I've, I've been ta I've been calling it with one of my buddies, uh, also a fellow YouTuber, goes by the name of John Gasm. he's one of my friends from high school. Uh, he has a pretty good YouTube channel, a little under 20,000 subscribers, but he's growing really fast. Um, so if you guys are not familiar with him, please go check out his channel, it's amazing. It's very similar to mine, a little less gaming oriented, a little more uh, vlogs than gaming, but still a great channel. Nonetheless, um, I would really appreciate it if you guys could go watch that, or watch some of his videos, or you know, at least check out his channel. Great guy. But anyway, we're going to be having like a bro week, like I said, he's going to come down and live with me. Um, for an entire week, he's gonna live with me. Uh, we're, we're gonna just do nothing but YouTube. He just purchased a new camera, I believe a GoPro uh, th Hero 3. Um, a very expensive camera, very nice. Um, I'm, I'm super pumped that we're gonna put Muscle Man out front actually, so we can get some levels with him. Um, but 
Uh, he's very, we're very excited about that. We're going to be doing all kinds of stuff. And I also want to take this time to ask you guys what you guys want us to do. Um, because, you know, after all, this all comes down to um, what you guys want to see. So if you guys want to see something, you know, leave a comment, shoot me a tweet on Twitter. We'll try to make that happen. And we are open to literally any kind of suggestion, guys. If you guys want to see us, you know, um, try any kind of challenges, you know, cinnamon challenge, something like that comes to mind. I mean, we've already done that, but, you know, something similar to that. If you guys want to see anything like that, we can make that happen. We can do... Um, a let's play of a game and or, or a let's play competition or something like that we, we have all the possibilities are, are endless and if you guys want to see something that the two of us do uh, you know gaming wise in real life we, we're gonna go G we're going to geocaching videos we're gonna do bartending videos we're gonna do we're gonna do pretty much everything and anything there is to do and um, if you have something you guys want to be added to that list um, you know um, we're, we're going to start doing some burger tasting. We're going to start doing some cooking, maybe. Who knows what we'll end up doing. It's going to be a fun, fun week, and I'm super excited for it. It's looking like um, we should be able to get that going uh, early July is when our schedules kind of line up, and we can both have time for this. So early July, we're looking forward to that. It's going to be really cool. Uh, like I said, um, really cool, fun time. And all this thing knows is absorbed, so that, I mean... I mean, he doesn't really know any good moves yet, but, you know, that's, we'll, we'll work with it. But, uh, yeah, like I said, that's be cool. Another thing I wanted to touch on just real quick, because I know I made a video about it earlier today, and if you guys are watching this, I'm recording this on May 16th. So if you guys are watching this video before May 23rd, this still applies. And, um, you know, this still applies because I haven't made the new video yet. But I am finally getting around to um, doing my 50,000 subscriber thank you video, which is I'm going to do in Ask Me Anything. So um, I started this this thing on Twitter and on YouTube actually, where you guys can follow me on Twitter and use the hashtag AskKMac, one word. Um, you can ask me anything you guys want. You guys want to ask me about my personal life. You guys want to ask me about my YouTube life. You know my life in school, what my major is. You know what school I go to, where I live. You guys want to know anything? I'm an open book for you guys. You know you guys, I appreciate you guys. I'm um, coming back over and over and over again and liking and watching my content and I, I it still shocks me to this day that people watch me on the internet and can watch me play Pokemon and um, you know I love you guys for it and just for that you know I want to give a little bit something back I'm gonna make this video you guys can ask me anything you want like I said I'm gonna be answering all of these questions um, as many as I possibly can fit into like a half hour video I'm gonna be answering them on uh, next Friday which is the 23rd of May so if you guys want uh, to get any questions in before then, you guys can feel free to do that. Um, like I said, it can be about anything. It could be. I've had a lot of questions already that are, are you know, personal questions. But then I've also had a bunch of po uh, questions that are just funny questions. You know, like would you rather questions or what's your favorite this questions. And you know, feel free to ask me. Like I said, just literally anything you guys want, can can dream up, just kind of throw at me. I'd be happy to answer for you guys. And also. Like I said, you guys can feel free to follow me on Twitter. My my handle is at KMACTime, just like my channel. Um, I know, great branding, right? Um, but uh, feel free to follow me and shoot me tweets whenever you guys feel like. I love interacting with my fans. Uh, the thing I get asked the most, though, is can I be on your friends list and can we play Call of Duty together? Can we play this game together? And the answer to that is yes and no. Um, because I more times than not, I'll, I'll make room for somebody on my friends list um, by deleting someone, but at the same time, I have to, to delete someone that had done this already to make room for you, so I feel bad, so sometimes I'll add you, sometimes I won't add you, but if you guys just want to play games, then uh, you know I'm always online, I'm always open to you know, whatever, shoot me a party invite, shoot me, um, if you see me playing Battlefield 4 on Xbox One, shoot me a party invite, if you see me playing... You know, Call of Duty Ghost on Xbox 360. Shoot me a, a, an invite to your game. I'll I usually come. I'll usually hang out with you guys and talk for a little bit. You know, and play with you guys. I'd love to play with you guys because I love you guys. You guys make this possible, which is amazing to me. And uh, I want to give back. It's just a little bit, even if it's just a little bit of playing time with you guys. I'd love to give back to you guys. And uh, I don't. I don't really want to be your number. Well, you know, give me, give me, give me this guy's number. He gives me berries and shit. He could come in handy later. I don't want to be a dick and tell him no. So give me this stupid guy's number and let's go. Let's roll into town and I believe you have to go to Sprout Tower first. Ooh, an Articuno. That would have been fucking sick. 
Um, I definitely don't want to leave Muscle Man out here because he has quad weakness to uh, Ice type, and I know that Arakudo knows an Ice type move. I just know it does, like Powdered Snow or Ice Beam or something stupid like that, and it would one shot our Dragonite this early in the run, and it would be absolutely, absolutely depressing. Yep, there it would have been. That would have been a one shot KO for sure because, like I said, the Dragon and Flying type um, is quad weak to that. And just look at that, I got frozen. Huh? Um. I'm not too worried about it, like his most powerful move only did 3 damage to Rigby, so I can I can wait this one out, but it sucks that I got frozen, because that's going to take forever now, but I do want the XP for taking down the Articuno, I know it's going to give good XP, and I am looking to, um, looking to gain, gaining some levels, uh, Gust might be a little bit different, I'm not sure if we can, yeah, okay, so if we should be, we be able to find, we're so much high le higher level, as soon as we get on Frozen, it should be one or two licks, but this could be a while, but I definitely don't want... Um, to go put up any of our other Pokemon in there because they are only level 4 or 5 and they are weak to ice, so. So we're gonna stick in here. Um, but yeah, we're gonna try and take out Sprout Tower, um, Faulkner, I believe there might be a rival battle somewhere mixed in there, I'm not really, real sure. Um, but man, this is, this is turning into be a, a giant boner here. Um, I have to use a potion. I don't think we have a full heal. We wouldn't have this one like that this early in the game. Usually you don't come across anything that could freeze you this early in the game. But, um, yeah, I haven't, he's been frozen for the, fir for the first, like, eight turns here. Come on, dude. Frozen solid. Jesus. Come on, bro. This is getting annoying, all right? I think we're just going to have to cut our losses here, admit defeat, and, uh, you know, put your tail between your legs and get out of here because I don't have time for this. I'm a busy, busy man. I got shits to do. I got shit to do. Bitches the fuck money to make. You know what I'm saying? But uh, yeah, anyway, great stuff coming you guys' way um, with the whole John Gasm thing. And I also have some other videos in the works with some other YouTubers you guys may, be, may or may not be familiar with. Um, Proto Mario, very cool guy. Has over a hundred and something thousand subscribers. I'm sure some of you at least have heard of him. He's a very he's also a Pokemon guy, so that's also very cool. Um, so I have a video with him coming out next week. It's the third one I've done with him. I love working with him. He's very professional, very cool guy. And I also have something in the works with um, another huge channel, actually, with um, All Time Conspiracies. Um, I I kind of contacted them. I, I you know, it's kind of up in the air whether or not we're going to be able to get anything done. I hopefully they can because that would be an absolutely amazing um, opportunity for me to get a video with them. It would be absolutely amazing because their videos are some of the best on the entire internet. And uh, I would be greatly privileged to be able to be on their channel. But we'll see how that works out. Hopefully we can get that done. But we're going to go ahead and head into Sprout Tower here. Um, this is a new area. So we are going to allow ourselves to catch a Pokemon in here. So big money on what we got here. And it is a Manaphy. I, um, I don't know much about this Pokemon. I don't know really. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and say it. I don't know anything about this Pokemon. I've never seen this Pokemon. Um, is there, I mean, you know what? I, I may. Is this is this the legendary Pokemon? I you know I'm gonna get so much shit. I'm gonna get so much shit for not knowing if this is a legendary Pokemon or not. Um, but I'm sorry. I just I just never played this generation of game, or I never played Gen 4. I believe there is a Pokemon that legendary. That looks similar to this, and it can, and it can have a, a baby with it. Or it's the only legendary Pokemon you can breed and have a baby version of it. The baby version can never evolve into it, though. Um, I could be wrong. I could be way wrong, but um, I would like to catch it. You know, just because I like to have I like to have Pokemon in the bank in case someone goes down. Because inevitably we're gonna lose somebody, and um, you know, having something in the bank to start all the way back over would be nice. So. We're gonna go ahead and try and catch this thing, and you know what? If you leave a comment. If you know if I if I was wrong, if it's not a legendary, then I apologize. But if I was right, then big big fucking money, big props to me because that is awesome. But uh, you know, I'm usually never right about these kind of things, and I usually get a bunch of comments down there like, "Whoa, came back here, such a fucking noob. You don't know shit." You know, blah blah blah. And you know that's okay. I agree. Sometimes sometimes you gotta admit defeat, and you know this time I don't really know anything about this Pokemon at all. So um, you guys can let me know about it in the comments section. Let me know what this Pokemon is, or generation, if it's legendary or not. We're gonna try to catch it in Premier Ball because Premier Balls are fancy, and we—that's how we rock. That's how we roll. Uh, and it didn't even give a shake. So it's asleep and it's got low health and it didn't give a shake. Um, that makes me wonder if it is a legendary because you know of the high catch rates of legendaries. 
It is hard. We're gonna give it one more lick. Hopefully we don't kill it. Okay, so that's about as close as we can get, it's probably at 1 or 2 HP, so that's for the perfect amount. We're going to put it to sleep, and we have 5 balls to catch it. If not, we're going to sadly have to KO this thing. Which would suck, because, like I said, all the Pokemon you can get is uh, just money in the bank, really. Um, but, motherfuckers being a, being a dick right now. Not not getting going to sleep, not getting the ball, shooting me with bubble, being a little cock about it. Hypnosis, alright, go to sleep, and we'll try our damnedest to um, catch you, I guess you could say. Um, so some other stuff going on. Um, you know, the Gen 3 remakes are was just announced last week. Uh, I do not have a 3DS or 2DS at the moment. I gave it away to my little cousin. Um, would I buy the third generation remakes? I would, because I actually love the third generation. The third generation was um, the last generation I bought as a child. Um, I played the shit out of Ruby and Sapphire. Um, I, I love that storyline, that region, the Hoenn region, I believe. Um, great fun time, great Pokemon. This thing is, is like in three balls has not given me a single shake. That is absolutely ridiculous. Um, I, it, this, this thing has to be legendary because it's only level three and it didn't even give a shake on a sleep with one HP. Oh, uh, like on the like three balls, didn't even didn't even give me a chance. Didn't even give me a chance. Got one, not one shake, and now it's giving me this bullshit water sport. But man, this little thing's being a total cocksucker. I mean, I just want to catch it. I just want to catch you, get in your stupid little ball, and shut the fuck up about it, would ya? Huh? Is that so much to ask? Duff guy? Duff guy, huh? Anyway, um, I forgot what I was talking about completely. But, oh, the Gen the Gen 3 remakes. Uh, I am kind of excited for them. I might have to go get another D, uh, 3DS. Um, which sounds stupid because I bought the, that my 2DS just to play at Pokemon X and Y. I played X and Y, loved it, beat it, and then I never played it again and I ended up giving it away. Um, so buying a whole other Game Boy for another Pokemon game may not be the best idea. But we only have one ball left here and we're going to have to KO this little fucker. I feel it. This guy's, uh, this guy's being a little cock. But uh, big money on this last Pokeball because it is, a, like I said, the last one and... Big money, big money, big money, big money, big money, no whammy, no whammy, no whammy, no whammy, and fu okay, fuck you, didn't give me a single shake. I don't think we got a single shake in like all eight balls we threw, I don't think we got a single shake. So this thing is, must have a catch rate out the ass, but you know what, I'm just gonna lick it to death because fuck you, sick of your shit, didn't want you in the party anyway, you're a piece of shit. Um, and we got some decent XP for it, so it must, it had to have been a legendary to get that much XP. I must have been right. God damn it, Kyle, you're awesome. And if I'm wrong, fuck it, I'm still awesome anyway. But um, that took actually a lot of health off of Gengar here, so we're going to go ahead and get a heal in just in case. Because I don't want to start losing anybody this early. Um, man, they, they put a lot of shit in here. Where are my potions? Medicine bag. Okay, there we go. Use and down to Rigby. Heal up. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Let's take on some of these sages. I think they're called. And what are we looking like on time? All right. We're almost at. We're about almost at 18 and a half minutes. We probably want to make this a half hour video. Try and stick to. So we probably won't get to uh, Faulkner in this. We could potentially. I mean, we'll never know. We won't know until we know. But. I don't know, it's looking like we're probably not going to get there, so we'll see how we are in time when we get out of here on I got a Sprout Tower, but right now we're going to grind through a, about a jillion and a half Bell Sprouts, uh, which is going to be a boner and a half. Um, uh, but we are going to gain some levels, though, so that, that's good. We do need levels on everyone. everyone. We have some great Pokemon, but they're pretty low level, so uh, they're still vulnerable to like a one-hit KO from a super effective move, which sucks. We would suck to lose someone this early. But um, we should have no problems with these Bell Sprouts being a Dragonite and being even that being high leveled. Um, I did notice like in, in Generation Two, it seemed like they're a lot lot easier in the beginning. I mean, the first gym leader only has two Pokemon, the highest ones like level nine or eight or something like that, and um, and the, all of the fucking trainers' highest level Pokemon up until then is like level four. So it seems like they're a little more forgiving in Gen Two than they were in Gen One. But that's just my opinion on it. But Whooping on all those stupid little bell sprouts. Um, another thing I wanted to talk about um, would just would just came out today actually. Um, 
They they had an announcement. They officially announced Halo 5 for the Xbox One and blah blah blah. Very very cool. Very excited about this. They they said they estimated it come out from you know late 2015, somewhere mid 2015s if we're lucky. Depending if it doesn't get pushed back, that's when they're that's when they're estimating. And that's all dandy and it's exciting. I love Halo. I love the Halo franchise. I've played all of them. Uh, great franchise. I was just playing Halo 4 multiplayer yesterday. Actually, I went back and started playing it again because it's really fun, actually. But um, uh, the thing I'm more excited for is they they're kind of hinting towards another announcement for a Halo um, remake of the our HD remake of Halo 2 and Halo 3 um, coming out maybe sometime in 2014. Um, which would be absolutely amazing. Um, I am pumped for this. Um, I know that they already did one for Halo 1. They had, and that's where I played. I never actually played the original Halo 1. I played the remake of it because I didn't have a, I didn't have an original Xbox. I only had a 360. So, uh, but I have played it and it is good. Um, but the multiplayer on it was just all right because Halo 3 and Halo 4 were out at the time when I got it, so it wasn't that many people on it. Uh, but I believe a Halo 2 remake would be huge. An online multiplayer huge game right now because that is really like. You think about games at all in terms of online multiplayer. You think of you know you, you think of the trendsetters. You think of the Call of Duty. That's the big game now. Maybe Titanfall and Battlefield up there right now. And then you think of you know of course the League of Legends and all those huge huge multiplayer games online. You know the WoWs and the Starcrafts and all those games that are huge as well. But the game that influenced me the most, really honestly truly, um, outside of Call of Duty 4 because that game was you know mind-blowingly awesome um, but Halo 2 was too but I feel like in terms of multiplayer that is why I bought an Xbox 360 originally I I'd seen a buddy and he was playing Halo 2 and he was playing online and it absolutely blew my fucking mind um, back then I had a PS2 and a GameCube and I was like what's online what do you mean multiplayer with other people that aren't in the room this is blasphemy what is this but what is this voodoo magic you speak of um, I had absolutely no perception of what online multiplayer was at the time, and when I saw that, back then the graphics looked great, obviously, uh, even on the original Xbox, and, um, you know, the multiplayer was so fun, so addicting, we'd stay up all fucking night, me and my buddy playing it, we're just down in Mountain Dew, was playing it until 5 in the morning, and you, you know, you could talk to people from across the country, across the world for the first time while, while beating them down with a sniper rifle or a sword or whatever, and it was just so much fun, and, um, that's when I knew I had to get an Xbox and I had to get Xbox Live. Unfortunately, it was a few more years before I could actually afford it and ended up getting a 360, ended up getting Call of Duty 3, and the rest is history. But, you know, Halo 2 Remake, you know, oh, a Jolteon. Oh, a Jolteon. That would have been dope, dude. I fucking, I love Jolteon. Um, oh, again, though, I don't want to dick with this electric flying, um, oh, it's a super effective against flying, I don't want to dick with them, we're just going to run up and run, but I, man, I wish we had a Jolteon, if you guys are not aware, um, Vaporeon is my favorite Pokemon of all time, and Jolteon is a pretty close in top 10, I just love all the Eevee evolutions, um, specifically the ones from the first generation, with Stantler would, would have been cool too, uh, very cool Gen 2 Pokemon, Stantler, very cool, um, I don't think it has an evolution, but I, I, I wish it would have got an evolution, or even a mega evolution in X and Y would have been cool. A mega Stantler, and its antlers could have been huge. Actually, no, you know what I think about that? It's too, it would have been too, too, too much like the, um, like the legendary. It's already a deer huge antler X thing, so I guess, I, I kind of think about it. I mean, like, the legendary could just be a Stantler mega evolution if you think about it. I, you know, that's just speculation bullshit. But, uh... Yeah, Halo 2, man. Oh, I, I, if they come out with this Halo 2 remake um, for the Xbox One, I'm sure they will. I'm sure it'll be on 360 as well as Xbox One. Um, but if, it, if done right, if done right, I mean, obviously they're, they're going to make a, an HD version of this game, obviously. It's going to run great. And I like 343, I really do. Some people were kind of turned off by Halo 4, they didn't like it. I thought Halo 4 was, um, I, would, I thought it was good. I thought it was a lot better than Reach. I did not like Reach multiplayer at all. Um... I just I couldn't get into Reach. I don't know what it was. There was something about Reach I just did it rubbed me the wrong way. I couldn't get into it. Um, but I love Halo 4 multiplayer. I play it still. I still play Halo 4. Even though the servers are kind of shitty, it's not a whole lot of people playing it right now. Um, the game's kind of over a year and a half old now. It's kind of dying. It's on the downward spiral. It doesn't bother me. I love that game. I'd play it. I still think it's one of the funnest games I've ever played. Um, but, you know, 
Uh, I would love to play a Halo 2 remake. I'm pumped for that. So there's going to be a rumored, um, you know, talks of it being, uh, you know, a release date released on during E3, which is coming up very, very soon. And Muscle Man is just chewing through levels here. We're just doing work on these fucking bell sprouts, man. These fucking sages or whatever these losers just getting fucking twerked by this fucking Dragonite, man. They got no answer, and I'm digging it. Um, but yeah, this 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 could be a huge announcement. Um, some other things I'm I'm super super excited for. Um, you know, obviously you have the um the Bungie game coming out. That's gonna be amazing. Um, you know, Bungie always does Bungie always does great work. I mean, I'm 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 a forever Bungie fan. After their Halo series, and this, I don't even know what else their games they made, but after after they invented Master Chief, I feel like I owe them, I owe them something. So I'm gonna give Destiny a try. I'm kind of pumped for it. I've seen some gameplay of it. The gameplay kind of reminds me of like a Borderlands 2, um, with the weapon style and the first per uh, the shooting style of it, uh, like a cartoony style. But you know, I think it looks good. I'm gonna give that a try. And you know what? I, I I'm I'm gonna go ahead and say it. I uh. I was I, I overhyped Titanfall. I really did. Uh, I was one of those guys that was like, Titanfall is going to change the world. It's going to be the next big thing. And you know, not to say Titanfall is not great, because I I do love Titanfall. I do enjoy playing Titanfall, but I just don't think it's the COD killer, man. I don't think it's the COD killer everyone wanted it to be, and that's that's sad because I really wanted it. And, we, and the thing I, when I look at it and I, I say, what is this game missing? What is it? What are, what is it missing from being the you know, the next big thing? Because I, I honestly think it's right there. I really do. Um, the thing I think it's missing is its longevity. And really, it, it's missing the customization. And when I say customization, when you look, when you look at it, I mean, you can pick your loadouts and your, you know, you got your typical, you know, your gear you can put on, your silencers, your sights, and you got your perk system kind of thing going on. But I really think it fell short. I mean, there's only like seven to eight different weapons in the entire game and I get that they're looking for you know simplicity you know keep it simple stupid kind of mentality which is great it's great because that, that's what Call, Call of Duty 4 is and Call of Duty 4 is uh, the best game ever made in my opinion hands down and they, you know they kept that game simple there wasn't that many guns in that game you know four sniper rifles four star rifles four you know, two shotguns, two this, two that, you know, not that many perks. They kept it simple in that game, and that game worked out great. But that was in 2006, 2007. That was before we got spoiled. That was before we, you know, we started having all these perk combinations we could do. <clears throat> Excuse me. That was before we started having all these crazy things, and uh, when we take that away from somebody, you don't give them all the stuff that they have in other games. Even though, you know, you don't think about it as being the most big selling point, it kind of takes away, and again, having no single player, I it doesn't really bother me that much. It bothers some people more than others. It doesn't really bother me that much. I play multiplayer only, pretty much, so it didn't bother me at all. But I know a lot of people that didn't buy that game specifically because there was no single player, or they may not have Xbox Live Gold, so they couldn't even. Why would they buy it? They can't even play it, kind of situation, which sucks. I mean, it probably hurt the sales just a little bit, but um, that game, I feel like. Um, Kind of underwhelming. Uh, looking looking back, a couple months after, a couple months out after um, release now, uh, underwhelming would be my my thing. I know there's DLC coming out for it soon. Um, I might pick up the DLC. I might not. I haven't played Titanfall in weeks. Um, just because I've been playing, I've been back and playing playing my 360 games and Pokemon a lot more. Yeah, I've, I've barely been turning on my Xbox One lately, and if I do, it's to play Battlefield. Um, because there's a new Battlefield game coming, our uh, DLC coming out soon too. I'm pretty excited for that as well. I usually get pretty pumped for the Battlefield DLC, so pumped for that. But you know what? I I don't want to say Titanfall is dead. I don't want to say it's over um, because you know it is still pretty early. And uh, oh, hypnosis! Fuck this! Fuck this little hoot hoot. But uh, I don't know. I, I a couple months in, I'm kind of underwhelmed. I wish there was more to it. I wish there was more. But, uh, you know, maybe we'll see something better with Destiny. Who knows? Uh, hopefully, we'll get something better with Destiny, like I said. You know, a cool game. But uh, we are almost at 30 minutes here. We're all like 29 and a half minutes. Um, I did see that our, our rival is right up here. So if we can get past this battle, um, I believe we're going to cut it. Nah, fuck it. I'll, I'll give you guys... You guys didn't watch 30 minutes of a video to not see me battle my rival, right? Like, what's... Like, there's no crescendo. Like, it would go out on such a down, boring note that would be... I would, 
I would be pissed off if I was watching a video and like you get to the end of the see like the light at the end of the tunnel and then oh wait till next week that would suck so I don't I'm not gonna do that to you guys holy shit I gotta get him out of here before he gets taken out let's go in with Rigby but yeah so I'm gonna go do I'm gonna heal up do a boss battle for you guys and then we'll call this video we'll call that a video and hopefully you guys aren't too pissed off at me for that um. Oh, it doesn't affect Hoot Hoot. Fuck this. Oh, the normal type not being affected by ghost type is bullshit. I keep forgetting about it. And he's putting all my Pokemon to sleep. Ah, oh, fuck this Hoot Hoot. He can't even... Nothing he can do can affect me even, but but hypnosis. So I'm going to sit here. Um, there's nothing really I can do. All my other Pokemon are either asleep or aren't really high enough level. So I'm going to try and put this Hoot Hoot to sleep. Um, with hypnosis, and then I'm gonna go in with somebody, and hopefully be able to take him down. I don't, all that other Pokemon, I haven't really grinded up any levels on my other Pokemon yet, so um, I'm not sure who we're gonna go into. But we do have potions in case shit gets critical. Um, let's switch into, um, let's go with Skips. I think Skips will do the. He has the highest defense of all of the Pokemon, so let's go with him. Um, hopefully, I think he just knows tackle. I think it's all it knows. And Harden, I guess, but um, go in. Hopefully, we'll be like four or five tackles. We'll get in and out real quick, and then we'll get the boss battle. I'll heal up. Oh, a critical hit! That's that. That's, that's always help. I love critical hits. But um, yeah, I'm pumped for this. This this Nuzlocke like run is turning out to be very, very fun for you guys. Oh, and back to back critical hits. Look at you go, Skip. You go. You go, Skips. Oh, you cock sucking motherfucker, dude. You were just being a fucking dick witch, man. Putting everyone to sleep, man. You're killing me. You're killing me. You're killing me. Um, so let's go ahead and switch into. I guess we'll go with Pops. Hopefully, he put. He puts my whole fucking party to sleep. I'm gonna be so fucking pissed. Just one more tackle should be good with Pops. Um, the only thing about Pops, I might, I might not even be able to keep Pops in the. Oh, he also has a whole bunch of moves here. He's got great move sets here. That's actually awesome. I didn't know he had such a great move set. But uh, I might not be able to keep Pops the whole time. I might just die here, right, for Christ's sake, after that. Um, but Pops evolves into Flygon at like level 55. I don't know if I can keep a Pokemon around that evolves that late in the game. I don't know. We'll see. If we get something better to replace him, we'll get something better to replace him. But until then, we're gonna let we're gonna let it ride with Pops. But uh, damn, we're gonna have to heal up here. I don't have anything to. To wake up my Pokemon, even though my, my Dragonite's asleep, and look at it fly behind me, flying behind me asleep. That's creepy. Um, but let's go ahead and get some potions in here. Uh, Muscle Man's gonna need one. Uh, who else is gonna need one? Um, Pops. Eh, I guess we can give another one to Muscle Man just to fully heal up. And we'll. Oh, I'm not gonna use another one. But what I do want to do is I do want to find a random a random encounter in here and uh, wake up my Pokemon during this random encounter with a low tad. So we shouldn't be able to do too much damage to me. So I'm gonna sit here and battle it until Muscle Man wakes up from slumber, and then we're probably gonna kick its ass. And then we'll have to go take on our boss or uh, not our rival. Excuse me. Which is gonna let's just take it. Alright, he woke up, so he's wrapped. Alright. Astonish. Astonish is such a stupid move. And the rap continues, blah blah blah. So, um Yeah, some good stuff. And I'm actually getting some as I'm speaking, I'm getting some tweets from you guys or from some fans about oh my ask my any ask me anything. So I'm pumped for that. I'm like I said, I'm super pumped for that, so hopefully you guys are tweeting me and all that kind of fun stuff. Let's go ahead and take on our rival right here, right now. And blah, 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 blah. Fuck you, fuck you. And Benson, you cocksucker. Let's fucking do this, you little bitch. I'm gonna fuck you up, dude. I'm gonna fuck you up. Oh, oh, wow. Oh. You know, here I am talking about all this anticlimactic bullshit. And then that happens. That's the most anticlimactic thing of all time. The motherfucker uses an escape rope. I thought we were gonna have a fucking battle. Here I am talking up this battle for you guys, and it doesn't even fucking happen. Now I feel like a fucking asshole. Ooh, Mistrevious would have been a cool Pokemon. I love Ghost Pokemon. Oh man, I, was, I feel like a fucking asshole now. I gotta give you something. Uh, is this old guy up here battle me? 
Did this motherfucker give me anything? Training, blah, 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 blah. Alright, so this will be our final battle. I'm sorry about that. I fucked this up. But this guy's... He's an elder. At least he looks kind of powerful. He's got some higher level bell sprouts or some shit. So, uh, yeah. Sorry about that. I know somebody out there, the second I said boss battle with him, or rival battle, someone out there started screaming at the fucking, at the TV, or at the screen, and, you don't battle him, you don't battle him when you're a fucking poking noob. And I know I'm gonna get flamed in the comments, but, you know what, haters can hate. Sometimes you just gotta be wrong, like I said, no big deal. And we're gonna run a train to this old man and just rape his children, so, no big deal. Uh, but, you know, this has been a fun video, guys. Um, we're gonna come to the end here. We're about we're almost 40 minutes in, and that's a long video. So hopefully, you guys don't and don't um, hate me for making such long videos. Um, I I would like to know if you guys do like these longer formats. I can make them shorter if you guys would like shorter videos. Um, you know, just tell me. I, I'd I'd love to make any kind of video you guys want to see. I know I can make for you guys. So if you guys want to see like 15, 20 minute versions of this cut in half, or you know you just want to see. 42 minutes to an hour, you guys want to see 30 minutes, either way it's fine with me, um, you know, I'd love to make them any way you guys want to watch them, that's how it's going to be, so let me know down in the comments section if you guys would like that, but man, I'm, I'm getting these fucking hoodoots, man, they're fucking putting me to sleep, and I, my, my other, my other high level Pokemon can't affect it, ah, these hoodoots are just being a, being a dick right now, he's being a dick, being a little dick, being a little dick, and pecking at me too, little fucking cocksucker, but, um, yeah, so this, this series, oh man, this is going to take fucking ever. And, you know, our Gengar really needs to learn a move that's not ghost, ghost type. So he can fucking use an attack on a normal type. He needs to learn some kind of dark type move or something. It's like a fucking, ah! Oh. And this is going to be one of, this is just one of those fucking days, you know? It's one of those fucking days, just Hudo's being that kind of guy right now. He's just being a little scumbag, you know? You fucking scumbag, you know? Just being a little, little douchebag about it. But, uh, we should have this battle, no problem. Does that rap still hurt even though he's asleep? That's cool. I did not know that if you were wrapped, it still affected you even though Pokemon was asleep for a turn. So that's something new you learned. Um, wow, it's still going actually. Or maybe you can just use rap while you're asleep. That's cool. I did not know that. I'm not really sure what's going on with that. But, uh, hopefully we'll get one more rap in here and. Oh, it's freed of rap. God damn, we're like one more shot away from it. And of course, Muscle Man's going to be asleep for the, like just sawing logs over here. We're going to have to use a potion. Going to have to use a potion. We don't want to lose Muscle Man. That would be absolutely depressing. I might have to just go uh, hang myself after we lost our fucking Dragonite this early to a hoot hoot, to a fucking hoot hoot, who is just being the worst kind of person. All right, fucking, all right, Jesus, die, would you? All right, thank you. God, get out of my face. All right, so that is good. that's just great, good XP there. So we're gonna actually start getting. I want to get some. I want to get some um, XP on Pops because Pops as like right now has like the best move set of all our Pokemon, but it's not. He's too low level to do anything about it. So we're gonna go in with him, and then we're gonna switch out back to. Muscle Man, and he should be able to come and lay down the law on this pussy little bell sprout. And uh, that should be it for this video, guys. Like I said, um, you guys could go ahead and leave this video a like rating. It'd be very, very much appreciated, as always, guys. I love when you guys do that. I love to see those kind of ratings, and I love to read you guys' comments to so make sure you guys are doing that as well. Like I said, feel free to, my, to subscribe to my channel to get all of my videos in your sub box. Um, go, like I said, go check out the John Gasm. Don't forget that cool guy. Go check him out. Um, make sure you guys are asking me and my, doing my ask me anything over on Twitter. Make sure you guys follow me on Twitter as well. I know I'm, I know I'm bashing you guys with all of this, all of this information and asking you to do so much right now. And you guys are probably like, "Fuck you, hey Mac, I'm not doing your bullshit. I don't have time for you." Um, but you know, if you got the time and you guys feel like it, I would I very much appreciate it if you guys could do those few things for me. But uh, that is pretty much it. We are wrapping up here, guys. Pop screw two levels from taking down that pussy bell sprout, so that's pretty sweet. Only like 49 more until it evolves to Flygon, so um, that that that's a thing. But uh, yeah, till next time, guys. Um, you know, take it easy and uh, you know, game the fuck on as always. I guess I should say. Um, I'm team TM70. What the hell is TM70? What is that? Oh, Flash. Who, who gives a shit? I don't even use Flash. But that's all we have time for, guys. So make sure. 
Like I said, take care of all that stuff. Oh, a random encounter, and I'm right when I'm wrapping shit up. Come on, man. A oh, Rhyhorn, too. That's a cool Pokemon, but we don't have time for you, Rhyhorn. We don't have time for your stupid shit, Rhyhorn. Get out of my face. Yeah, bitch. Yeah. But uh, that's all we have time for, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. As always, guys, have a great day. Game the fuck on. Until next time, guys. I'll see you then. Peace out.